Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here for another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. And today we're going to continue with the overviews of what's going on inside of Star Citizen with an overview of mining in space. You know, somebody told me that if you just add in space to the end of anything, it sounds cooler, like washing dishes in space, taking out the trash in space, cleaning toilets in space, you know? It all seems to be better, but, you know, in some cases, it just isn't. And uh, we're going to go take a look in my beautiful prospector. And we're going to see. Let's see. 07. 07. 07. Watch it hit 02, and I'll be like, uh, oh, 08. Hmm, I was close. Usually I'm getting 07. That means somebody's on 08. That will be strange. Okie dokie. So we are going to go and mine in space. Now, space mining isn't much different than mining on a planet. And it's definitely in its very, very early, early stages of development. Well, not so early. It's being fleshed out. You know, they already have... Oh, I was right. Oh, somebody's got their cutlass. Hopefully that cutlass doesn't turn into be a pirate that's going to try to jump me and destroy my mining vessel. That happens a lot. It's kind of fun. I haven't changed the two little pea shooters on there yet. Okay, so when you're getting into your prospector, just an FYI. Walk forward quickly. Because if you don't, you get stuck in that doorway. And oh my god, CIG, could you tone down the lighting a little bit? My eyes hurt. It's like we should have lighting that understands that when it's dark in here the lights get dimmer so we don't burn our retinas up and that green light just goes right through me all right open 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 okay all right we're in our yep, we're here we're in our seat and we are going to bam turn on the lights turn on the ship and light this candle and get the hell out of here Okay, make sure everything's okay. The cat likes to rub up against my throttle over here, and essentially she ruins everything from time to time, but we are going to go. Yes, Bat Cat is still a thing. She's still awesome. We got our landing gear up, and we are going to book out of here. Let's see if we are a little bit close. We were. All right, good. And you might say, where do you go to mine in space? Well, I know of one place. I think there's two, uh, rocks around Delamar and rocks around Yella. I call them rocks. They are rocks. I mean, you can call them what you want, but they're rocks. All right, everything's in a different place, it seems, with this iteration. All right, so we're just going to go out here. There we go. I've got a add that to a button somewhere. I don't know which button I would add it to. There's so many buttons on this joystick. I think I know which button I could add that to. We'll try to do that for next time. See if it works. Does it work? Alright, so we are around Yella. Now Yella, everyone knows, has rings. And those rings contain asteroids. Are we out of Looks like we are totally out of... There is something going on here. There we go. I don't know what was up with that. There's some wonky things happening in the game today. Alright, so we're going to go into the asteroid field, or the ring system of Yella, and we are going to look for rocks. Now, asteroids move. They revolve around the planet. They rotate around their axes. They bump into each other occasionally, but not really that often. They're pretty stable. But the one thing they don't do is just sit there and hover in mid-space. But I want you to think of it this way. If they had to have every one of these moving in their own paths around this planet, so the computations of the server, well, the server's CPUs would always be computing the pathway of every single asteroid in the asteroid field, I think we'd have about two frames a second. 
But right now we're at 60 frames a second because OCS is awesome. Yes, object container streaming seems to be a hit. The game is somewhat unstable right now, but that's something I would expect at this point. They're still tracking down bugs and squashing them at a amazing rate. Some things, like I said, it's still dark inside of my airlocks and super dark inside of the hangar at Levski, but nonetheless, they are getting most of the bugs squashed. And when I say most of the bugs, um, there are still some persistent bugs that annoy the bejesus out of me, like getting stuck in the door of my prospector. Or waking up when you're at Levski and being inside the walls. That has been a big problem. Um, also, there's a opportunity for you to walk into an elevator at one of the rest stops and it just be the inside of the rest stop, not the elevator itself. And you're floating around with no way out. Those are the different things that you have to worry about at this point. So we are going to ping this area and see what we come up with. Nothing right now. So we are going to go prospecting. Prospecting, of course, is looking for the node, not mining the node. So we're going to find some nodes. And I'm just There's a node right there. And I'm not going to go through the painstaking process of finding the right node. Because you could be here for quite some time. Now there's the first part of the game that I think needs to stop being, well, how you say? It needs to stop being. I just, I know there's something out there. There it is, right? Now I can reduce my my area that I'm searching in, but I think that just reduces the area around my ship, not in front of me. See? I still have to make it bigger to see what I was seeing again. And I think I see it right in front of me. I think it's that one right there. Oh, we're having those problems again. The sync problems with the game have been immense. See, we did, we did do that and we didn't send out a ping, but that one's sending out a ping. I'm not sure what just happened. We know that there's something over here. I think it's in front of me. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Oh, there it is. It's right there. That's it, right there. So we're going to turn on our mining right here, our mining laser, just to get a better look at this thing. Right now, now, I'm not getting a good look at it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn away from it and turn onto it just for a second and see if I can figure out what this is. There we go. So it's corundum, aluminum, and tungsten. And it's really low percentages of each one in there so I probably wouldn't stick with this rock so we're gonna go prospecting for something that's a little bit more valuable to us now they seem to have given us a uh, increase in payments on what you get because right now the reward versus effort is a very low ratio so we have another rock over there and see they're disappearing. They, they need to keep those markers on it, and I'm sure that's something that they're going to do in the future. Or at least let this box grid system stay up for a little bit longer. All right, let's get another ping. We've got 1,600, 1,300 away. We don't know where it is. It seems to be right off our nose. There it is. And let's see what this one is. This one is going to be, hopefully, a little bit better. Prospecting is a tough job in this game because you have to constantly... So, Laranite and Corundum. I don't like this rock. We're going to go find another one. Back to our scanner. Back to our scanner. So, that's what you're going to be spending most of your time in. Is going to be looking for the rocks themselves. Looking for the asteroids, the mineable... up. Oh, that's back there. We don't want to go back there. That one was our best one so far, but we've got millions of asteroids out here to look at. 
So we know that there's one about 8,000 away over there. It didn't give us a box around it, but it's pretty much highlighting the general area where it is. And I think their server desyncs or synchronization issues, which need to be worked out. And that's why we're not able to push our button over here or make ourselves ping. So I'm going to stop for a second, let everything catch up, and see if I can... Yeah, we're not getting the pings. That is one of the problems that you're going to have. There it is, right in front of us. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably just going to take this rock since this version of the this version of the PTU seems to be a little just too unstable for doing fun things. But we are going to go up to it and take a look at mining in space, which I'm going to say again is not much different than mining on a planet. Okay, we're synced back up and we have a number of rocks here now. Number of nodes. Now I've been pointing at this one for quite some time, so I'm going to continue to point at this one because I already know that I've been going in this general direction. All right, let's get it back up again, and bam! There it is. It's this one right here. So let's see. So it looks like 16% of something. Oh, 3 to 70. Aluminum. It's going to be a low one. Let's see what our mining laser says. And we have two more around here that we could look at, but at some point, oh, that, that, this one is just ridiculously hard. Nope. It's ridiculously stupid. All right, let's see if we can get another ping in any direction over here. We know that there was something out here. Uh, we'll go in this direction. Nope, uh, desynced again. There we go. And do we have anything? Anything, anything, anything. Nothing. All right, let's go in towards uh, Crusader. It's deeper into the f mine, well, the minefield. <laughs> the mining field. It's not a minefield. And like I said, the hardest part of mining is actually finding. Finding what you want to mine. Oh, I thought we were going to have a problem there. We are having, well, it looks like there might be some stuff in this direction. And the only reason I say that is that cloudy little area over there tends to make me think it might be a little bit more of a place to do some mining. Oh, we found something over here. Okay, I was right to go towards Stanton before. And it looks like there was one off to the side, too. Yeah, they don't, they just don't stay long enough. There it is, 3,000 meters. We're going to have to point away from Stanton so we don't get, like, all blinded and stuff. I still think that they should find a way to build in automatic polarization on certain ships. Definitely the Origin series. So when you're staring at a sun, it automatically reduces the glare on you. Okay, let's spin around this one so we're not staring at the sun. Or at Stanton. Stanton, it's not the sun. Please be a better rock for us. Oh, this might be a better rock for us. Let's go to mining mode. And we're, gonna, we're just going to take it no matter what, because we're going to look off of it, and we're going to come back onto it to initiate the... There it is. So it's, it's like trace elements of things. Trace. Now, this is something I really think CIG has to fix. It's the number of... The number of mining nodes that you find that are just absolutely useless is absolutely ridiculous in this game, especially for this game being a, a test, right? It's really trying to test out these features, these systems, and I really don't want to spend most of my time looking for rocks. I want to spend most of my time finding the nodes. Well, not finding them, actually mining them. Finding them, yeah, okay. But if you're going to make me look at them, 
You should let me be able to see what they are from a further distance. That's something. Or maybe that's something that better mining vessels will be able to do. Um, be able to see these nodes from afar. Now we know it's right in front of us, so I'm going to switch to the mining mode because it's essentially that rock right there. Uh, aluminum 5, titanium 4.2. It's still trace elements, but I'm going to use this one because it will at least give me a thousand to two thousand when we go to sell it. So we're just going to bring ourselves within a few meters of it right there. Turn on our laser. Now I have the laser throttle set to one of the knobs on my X56 uh, throttle. So I know that the initial ones are going to be somewhere between 35 and 55 percent. So I'm going to bring it right up to about 45 percent and see what starts to happen. If any energy starts to be transferred into the rock. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to go up to the next level that I know is normal for this. And that's going to be the 60 to 75 percent. So I'm going to go to 68 percent. And this is just the way that I've been doing it. And you can see that the rock energy level is actually going up for me now. That's a good thing. I'm just going to hold here for a second. I'm not going to get a little bit anxious and continue to raise the power. I want the power to start to level off. So I can turn the throttle just a little bit each time to get it closer and closer towards that green area. Now, you're going to have many different ways to do this on your own. Like If you're using mouse and keyboard, you might be putting the wheel to your, the mouse wheel to your throttle. Or you might have a system of keystrokes for your throttle. If you're using a gamepad, you might be using one of the joysticks. Maybe the right joystick. Maybe the left joystick. Maybe certain button combinations. And I don't know about other specific HOTUS. I know that I have a 1600, 16,000 T, T 16,000 M from Thrustmaster. And on that one, since the throttle on the, on the joystick itself wouldn't be used, I would probably think about using that for the throttle for mining. So this does take a little bit longer than I thought it was because we're probably going to be closer to the last level, which is the 80 to 90 percent range. So I'm going to keep it right here and let it start to go up. And as it gets to the green area, I'm going to start to throttle down just a tiny bit because I don't want to overcharge the rock. There we go. And I'm going to do a little bit more of a drastic drop as I was going up too fast. But I will fracture this rock with no problem. So this mining node is mine. So that's just one fracture. One fracture is not going to get you anything to mine normally. If it does, you are fracturing a smaller rock. So you want to look at these and see what they have in them. And just go for the ones that have the most. Right now we have a 10% on this one. I'm going to throttle my laser all the way down and put it to about 9%. You have a much tighter green area or sweet spot on these. And somewhere between 7 and 15% is where you normally are going to mine these. Now the closer you get to these, the more energy goes into them also. You'll notice as I get closer, the energy level goes up. Why I sit further back is... There was a time when you would be mining and you'd fracture the rock and they would blow out from the center and hit your shields and do damage to your ship. That is unfortunate and that was totally a mess up in the mining, in the mining system. Uh, and I'm glad that it has changed in this version of it because taking all that damage in this ship when I was mining before was not fun. So I think we're going to be down around 10%. You can see it just about ready to get to the fracture mark. And I'm going to go down to about 8% and see if it continues to rise or if it's going to stay right there. It is rising slightly, so I'm going to back off to 6%. Yeah, that's good. 
Nope, we fell out of it. We're going to go back up to seven. Eight. There we go. Let's keep it right there for now. All right, so we backed off. This sweet spot's a little bit harder to keep. All right, so we're going to get this mined up in just a split second there. This will fracture it, and we'll be left with a bunch of purple pieces that we can mine. And it will automatically turn that off, and I will switch to the gathering mode. And this is giving us... I'd say this is a... 1500 to 2000 credit run. It's not perfect, but it's good for showing off what you can do. Now, hopefully, the game stays stable enough for us to make an end to this, but we are going to mine as much of these rocks as we can. And just for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to try to get an image of us. Let's go back inside. Where's the purple rocks? Where are the purple rocks? There should be one more. There's one more. I'm going to want to go around the side of this. Right now, we still have the sun right in front of us, which is annoying. Stanton in front of us is definitely giving us a problem. And there is yellow over there. So this one is... It's got a lot of titanium. Well, it doesn't really. Oh, there's another purple one right there. Let's fill up our hold with that. Because you don't really have that much space on here, you want to make sure that you're getting the best rocks possible. Uh, you know what? Seven and... That's going to be fine. So let's switch back. And I think just leaving it at that mode where we started before, 7 to 10, should be more than enough. So we'll bring it up to 9 to start off with and then back off as we get closer to the fracture point. And what I need is an image for, I need an image for a thumbnail. And I think that's a great image right there. Gives a lot of black on the bottom for me to put the name. And there we go. All right, so we need to go back and forth onto it. There we go, just to get our levels back. This one's taking a little bit more energy than I expected. I'm going to bring it up to about 17 and back off to about 12. 14. Let's keep it at 14 and then we'll back off to 10. Because it's raising rapidly. It's still raising. I'm going to back off to 9. It's still raising. I'm going to back off to 7. Yeah, that seems to be a good way to put it right there. It's seven. There we go. We've got it. And then we're just going to suck in these rocks. Little by little. Now, you could do this any way that you want. You could keep looking for that perfect node, which I'm sure exists somewhere out here. And I'm sure there's different nodes in different places but this is just an overview of mining in space yeah I you know as much as I say mining in space it's still mining and it's interesting but it's not exciting all right and let's see do we have any other green yeah there's another purple piece and let's get that in and it looks like we're going to have to blow up just one more rock. Let's see if we can get closer to one of these and see what this is. 7% aluminum. I want more titanium than aluminum. Well, this one has a lot of bolts, so I'm going to take this one. And it's not, and like I said, there's still trace amounts. It's not a lot. 
and what did I say, 15% to get it going and then back off. We'll go to 13 on this one. It seems like it's breaking a little bit faster. Its instability is not that bad, so we don't have to worry about blowing up. Its resistance isn't that bad, so I think we're going to be down in the 7% range again, so I'm going to stick to 9, 8, 7. Are we gaining or losing right now? We'll stay at 5 or 6. We seem to be holding now, and fracture. All right, let's pick up these pieces, and this should be it for us. And we should be able to get back to Port Olisar with no problem. So remember that these videos are brought to you by me, Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo, and if you want to help support me, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Batgirl. At Patreon, you can support the artist of your choosing with donations as little as one dollar a month and if you go out to patreon.com forward slash batgirl there are some benefits they're going to be more so once i get out of school this year but currently we do have a discord channel which i'm going to be much more active on in six weeks than i am now but i really do appreciate all of those that are supporting me now all right let's get out of here we have a full hold of wonderful material which is probably useless because it was trace amounts. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to try to set a key on my keyboard. Well, not my keyboard. On my HOTAS. Advanced customization. And let's see if we can bring up... I wish there was a search field here. I never know where these things are. So where is your quantum... It's not even, there it is, quantum drive. They're saying it's button 10. I want it to be that, button 21. Okay. And then we go back to the game. Button 21. Well, button 21 is supposed to bring up my quantum drive. Well, we'll figure that out in a, in a while. So for now, what we need to do is get back to Crusader, which I believe was... There's Yella. I saw Crusader out here before. There is Selim. There's Port Alasar, right there. We've got Port Alasar. There we go. And we will head ourselves right over to Port Alasar. And I love how it moves you around rocks now, around these asteroids. All right, we're out of here. And there goes Crusader. And we finished our quantum leap. Oh boy. <laughs> and we are back in the space space. <laughs> Would it be space space or is it still called airspace? I never know. I hate those little stoppages. I hope they stop soon. Dun -dun -dun. Because they make me think that we're about ready to crush. Crushola. Crusherama. All right, so we are in the controlled space around Port Alasa. Landing gear down. Let's go get to a platform. We've got to raise our altitude, which I don't know if it's raising or lowering because there is no up-down. We have to change our altitude. There's a lot of people here. A lot. I didn't expect anyone to be out here at 6 a.m. Okay, let's go around here. Let's figure out what we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is ask permission to land, and I really do hate these things being up top here. I know I've voiced this before, but I think this is poor design. I think these things up top should be able to drop down in front of you. All right, there's it, and again, no communication from them, just a little bit of a wrench that shows up. All right, we're coming in, and here's our beautiful prospector. You know, this is 
one of the best ships I've actually purchased in the game for the PTU and for the yeah, I would say for the early alpha release of Star Citizen because it does offer me the opportunity to do so much more because there aren't that many other systems in the game yet. All right, we're out of here. So, up oh, there goes a Starfarer. Oh, beautiful, big, giant, tremendous MISC ship. My MISC ships, everything from the core, the Reliant core, all the way up to the Starfarer are just so awesome. I can't wait to see the whole C's, whole B's, whole A's, whole E's. Yeah, I skipped over D. Once you have a whole C, you jump up to a whole E. You just skip over D altogether. Come on, folks. D, e, D just makes no sense. It's for people that want to go all the way but just don't have the gusto to do it. All right, let's get inside and let's see... The little money that we made from mining in space. Hopefully the doors are working in here. And the last thing is we hope that the kiosk is working because it wasn't yesterday. All right. I predict 1500 is what we made because we didn't find a good node. Picking up. Is that cool? Well, folks, I, I don't know what we're going to do here because it's not working. So I can't tell you. But the kiosks over here have had a problem for the last couple of days. They don't really work all the time, and that's a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's not, it's not seeing what I have. Very, very big pain in the butt. Let's see if it's in here. These work. And you'll see that my MISC prospector is not in here. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but still... Hopefully, in the persistent universe, persistence is kept inside of my ship, meaning that I can try to log out and log back in again. When the game does go live on 3.3, there's going to be a lot more to do. Obviously, we're going to have a whole new planetary system, but with mining asteroids, I think those of us that like to mine are going to start to have lots of fun with all the different nodes that are going to be around the Stanton system. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. If you have any suggestions, please use the comment section for suggestions. And if you do subscribe, please make sure to click that bell-shaped icon to get notified of all the videos I place up on YouTube. Again, remember about Patreon, not just for me, but for other people that you support on YouTube and Twitch. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.